and welcome to WHHI TV News. We've got a real special story. Some special ladies joining us from the Wounded Warrior Project. We've got Bria and Olivia. Welcome, ladies. And we're there. So we've got a special topic, veterans, of course, very important. And the Wounded Warrior Project is something that we're going to learn a little bit more about in the National Nonprofit Day. So we'll let you share with us a little bit about that. Yeah, so Wounded Warrior Project, we are a national organization. Uh, we deliver programs free to warriors and their family members, and we serve hundreds of thousands of warriors directly each year. Our programs focus in areas of mental and brain health, financial health and wellness, advocacy efforts, connection events, as well as physical health and wellness. And we work with partners like Parker's Kitchen to help uh, move our mission forward. Uh, they help in a number of ways and they are just so important to our mission and, and everything that we do. Absolutely, you hear a lot about the veterans and this emotional support needs that they have. So this is, this is very good. Tell us a little bit more about the partnerships and how they actually work. Yeah, so um, some of the partnerships, and I think you're going to hear a little bit from Olivia, um, They, we really work with them in a way that fits their business model. So if it's more employee engagement, if it's customer engagement, their sponsorships, and what's most important when we work with a corporation like Parker's Kitchen is making sure that we connect them with our programs. We want them to be so connected to our mission that they are an extension of us in their communities, because many times people see Parker's Kitchen and then when they'll see Wounded Warrior Project, they trust both brands and then they want to get involved. So it helps amplify the message and it also helps educate those that maybe don't know what Wounded Warrior Project does and also the programs that we provide. Yes, absolutely. Do tell us a little bit more about the Wounded Warrior Project. How long has it been around and uh, is a national program, obviously? So we have been around for 20 years. Um, we were developed after 9-11 mm -hmm. and we have continued to grow to meet the needs of warriors. Every day we have 71 warriors or family members signing up for our programs and services um, and getting involved with, with Wounded Warrior Project. That's wonderful, absolutely wonderful. And so do you reach out to them? Obviously they can reach out to you and I know you're gonna share how to do that. So tell us a little bit more about how to make that connection. Yeah, so there's a number of ways that we make the connection. Um, and I think Olivia could maybe share a little bit on how they help us connect with the community through the efforts of Parker's Kitchen. Sure. Yeah, so we're a corporate partner of Wounded Warrior Project. Um, we just started with them this past um March um, through our Roundup for Charity campaign. So we're a convenience store chain um, and we really encourage our customers to round up their transaction to the nearest dollar and all of their proceeds would then go back to the Wounded Warrior Project. Um, Parker's Kitchen then matches 25% of every donation, really making our gift even that much more impactful. Um, so we're thrilled to be able to donate over $300,000 after this last four month um, Roundup campaign. I think you know, as a brand and as a pillar of our community, um, we have really a duty to shed some light on the groups like Wounded Warrior Project and really giving back in a charitable space and making sure that our employees and our customers are also feeling like they're giving back and know how to get involved. That's super important to us. Um, and I know it's helping really, you know, amplify the impact across all areas um, of the country. Yeah, and speaking of areas of the country, in our area, we're here in the low country area of South Carolina in particular, there's a lot of retired folks, a lot of it in the military and veterans. So that really hits well for our area. So I'm glad to help get the word out for our local area. So how can our community respond that are here and they're watching our, our station? Yeah, so if someone wants to get involved, they can go to woundedwarriorproject.org and they okay. can find out more information about our programs and services, as well as a number of different ways to get involved and help support the mission. And as you just heard, they can uh, go shop at Parker's Kitchen and help fuel the mission through that way also. Wonderful. Uh as we just wrap up in the last few seconds, this is a great uh, service for our community. Anything else you'd like to share? 
I would just like to say, if you know a warrior or a family member that could uh, use our programs and services and maybe they haven't signed up, please encourage them to do so. We are here to help. And also, if you're someone that wants to get involved with our mission and, and help move it forward, um, please do so. We can't do it alone, and it takes a community to, uh, to serve those that have served us. Absolutely. Thank you, ladies, for all the efforts you're making, and we appreciate you sharing that very important mission with us here. Thank you. Yeah, stay here. We'll be right with, back with more WHHI-TV news.